What's up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in Call of Duty doing a little FFA on the train map. That's right. I'm probably not knowing its name, so we're just going to call it the damn train map because uh, that's really all there is to it about this damn thing. Um, this was one of the clips where we were still using the uh, PDW. I've got the Vector up next, and I absolutely hate that fucking weapon, but... We got to get a gold anyway, so we will be, uh, we got one more clip of the PDW and then everything from there on is going to be the vector. But let's go ahead and get into today's topic. And yesterday we talked about recording software. Today we're going to talk about editing software. And I just want to go ahead and say in advance that I'm not affiliated with Adobe in any way, form or fashion, and they are not paying me to make this video. That being said... I believe the Adobe suite of products is the best bet. And why do I think that? Mainly because of their payment pricing slash business function, the way they work. Um, if you are familiar with recording so or editing software, it's expensive as hell. I mean, like, I want to say I looked at Vegas and it was like $900. And then I looked at, uh, I want to say it was Adobe Premiere was like 500 and, you know, Usually that's with a student discount. It's like, good God, that shit's expensive. You know, and if you're a small YouTuber, you're, you know, a poor college student or, you know, in high school, you don't have that kind of money. So it's, it's really rough. Now, once you start getting up there, you know, once you start getting, you know, a couple hundred thousand views a month, things like that start kind of becoming a little bit more in your, in your, your budget. But even then, you know, 800 bucks for a recording software, even though it's something you use every day, it just kind of gets to the point where it's like, you know, I just, ah, it's hard to justify, even though it's, you know, it's, it's a business move. And that's kind of what you got to start thinking of is YouTube is a business. You know, this is, I'm investing in my business. I'm not wasting this money, et cetera, et cetera. So what is so cool about Adobe over these other groups? Well, if you are poor as hell like I am, Adobe offers what they call the Adobe Creative Suite. And what does that mean? Well, with the suite, you pay a monthly fee for a year and you can renew at the end of the year and you're going to pay a set amount. So if you are a student, which um, I am personally, which is nice. Uh, you pay 30 bucks a month. Uh, you can actually, they, they run deals several times a year where you can get it as cheap as 19. Uh, if you're not a student, you're going to pay 50. Now, what does that monthly fee get you? You know, you're like, well, Pyro, you know, 50 times 12 is 600 bucks. You know, isn't that paying more than the, you know, the recording software you're talking about? Well, yeah, it is, but you're not just getting the recording software. The nice thing is you get access to Adobe Premiere, you get access to Adobe After Effects, which allows you to do all the cool lighting and effects. You get access to Audition, which is basically like Audacity. It allows you to edit and uh, noise cancel, all of that stuff. You get access to the Photoshop suite, which is huge in of itself. Um, you get access to the professional version of Adobe Acrobat, uh, Dreamweaver, uh, if you want to make your websites and things like that. You ba basically anything and everything Adobe makes. And it's just a very, very powerful suite. I know a lot of people prefer Vegas. Uh, for me personally, I just, I don't know, I took one look at Vegas and it just didn't work for me. But the nice thing about this setup is you're getting access to like $10,000 worth of software at just an ultra low cost and it just i don't know for me personally it, it seemed like a ridiculously good de good deal because i use literally i wake up in the morning i record my video i get over here i start commentating so i'd open up you know adobe plug in my cod video start recording after i'm done with that i export it into audition i noise cancel after that i open up photoshop you know i set up my nice little uh my, uh, my nice little thumbnails, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, all that software would just cost me a million bucks. So this, you know, it keeps you from having to steal it off of a BitTorrent site, which, you know, every time you load it up, you die a little inside and God kills a kitty and all that stuff. So this, you know, it'll let you be legit. Gives you access to everything. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about it. And for me personally, it makes, it just makes sense. Now, there are a lot of other options out there. Uh, you know, if you like Vegas, Vegas is just as powerful from what I hear as Adobe Premiere. Uh, I don't know if it has a bunch of other plugins and such because I've never actually used it uh, myself. I mean, I, I tried to learn the tutorial for it and I was like, you know what, the, this, this just isn't gonna work. Um, as for free options, obviously there is Windows Movie Maker, which, ugh, 
probably shouldn't be using that. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's about as old school as you get. I, I don't even think it comes on Windows 7 or Windows 8. I think you could go all the way back to XP to get that shit. So uh, I think you can actually download it off their website, but you know, definitely not one of the higher quality type options. Uh, another free option is Virtual Dub. Now, Virtual Dub, from what I remember, is an open source platform that allows you to do a lot of stuff. But the problem with Virtual Dub, at least for me, is it, it felt a lot like the Linux Guru's uh, client for video editing. I mean, there's a way to run it in 100% uh, con or what do you call it, command line form. And I, I just, you know, I got to have my GUI, man. I, I need my graphical user interface. If, if I can't see it, it just it's not going to work for me. So uh, virtual dubs, the other option. And there's, there's a free one that uh, my buddy silent miss was talking about that just came out recently. Apparently it's still pretty buggy. And unfortunately I don't know the name, but there are some free options out there. Keep your eyes open for me personally. I do recommend the Adobe products. Uh, take a look at the Adobe creator cloud suite or something along those lines. It's a very cheap option. And for whatever reason, not many people know about it. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did click the like button, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.